Hello there, my name is Tommy McKellion. I'm a member of TK Fitness. We're based in Derry. We're a health and fitness uh, organization and we work with a, a range of groups from older people to adults to young kids. At the minute we'll be working with Craig and Enterprises. We're going to develop a short video for use at home. For those older adults uh, who may be at home at the minute, find it very tough during COVID and we're going to provide a short documentary on home exercises and movements. So this video will give you instruction, some guidance, some tips and advice on how we keep active in the home. Whether in the chair or out of the chair, there's things that we can be doing. We're gonna encourage you to get as active as you can. We'll encourage people within the family, the carers that come into the house to join in, turn some music on, spend five, 10 minutes getting active, getting moving and having a bit of fun during the day. The importance of doing this here is so many. It improves our mood, makes us feel good about ourselves. It'll improve strength, which will help getting in and out of the chair, our movement around the home. It prevents falls and accidents. It means that we'll be tripping a lot less and we'll feel a lot more confident in and around the home. And you'll feel your mood much better, especially in the days where we're not seeing people as often as we would have. We'll not see family as much. So we want you to find a couple of times in the day, get, get active, get moving, and just to feel more relaxed. Okay, folks, today we're going to do some basic movements. So if you're in a chair, no matter what that chair is at home, we're going to show you how you can get yourself active. So we'll show you some exercises sitting in the chair, some exercises coming out of the chair, and some that you'll be able to stand behind the chair. But at all times, just choose the ones that you're confident and able to carry out. Over time, the more that you perform them, you'll get more confident in your own movements, you'll feel much stronger and able to do much more. Okay, folks, the first thing we want you to do is to sit nice and relaxed. I just want you to sit with your hands and your palms out in front of your thighs. What we'll start to do is just open and close. You do that four, five times. Then after that, I want you to clench and just focus on gripping your hands nice and tight. Then relax and release. So we do that four or five times and then we clench. Hold your fist nice and tight. And the more often we do that there, you'll find your wrists and your fingers feeling more relaxed, stronger, which is really important if we're opening jars, we need to lift something off the floor, take something out of a cupboard, out of a fridge. So let's do this as much as we can during the day. Remember, all you do is open and closing, fisting nice and strong, and then nice and relaxed. Right, for our second exercise, when you sit a little bit further in the seat, you can hold on to the side if you like, or put your hands on top of your thigh. So often when we're seated during the day, we might not be moving that much. We tend to get quite stiff and quite tight through our legs. So what I want you to do is either hold here or here, and we can march up and down. Now it's always a bit more fun if you get some music on the background, something on, on TV. So if you're feeling stiff, tired or sore during the day, even for a couple of seconds, try marching on the spot. Relax, take a short break, and when you're ready, Come back in, just nice and relaxed. Keep your shoulders relaxed and just enjoy marching on the spot. You'd be amazed that the more that we do that during the day, we've got less pains through our knees and our ankles. Now another exercise that's really beneficial to take it on from our marching is it's very simple. We can dig and just push our heels down in towards the floor. If we do that there, we're keeping our ankles nice and loose. Again, and get quite stiff during the day. So even if we're sitting there, you're watching TV, Listen to the radio, there's nothing stopping us. Get a quick march on the spot while sitting in the chair, pushing our heels out in front and keeping your toes pushed up. You do that for as long as you can. You take a short break and when you're ready, you do that again. Now you just build it up as you feel confident, as you feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more mobile. You could do that two, three, and maybe four times and then relax. Now a really good bit of advice for all of us Rather than slump in the chair, for this exercise I want you to sit up nice and tall. So we're going to get our shoulders nice and relaxed. So what I want you to do is to raise your shoulders up nice and high and then bring them back down. So you want to squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears, hold for a second and then back down. So I want you to do that four times, up, back down, get everybody else in the house to join in, then hands to the side and I want you to squeeze up, hold for a second and then back down. So we'll do each of those four times. Remember, you're gonna squeeze at the top end, so squeeze here and back down, squeeze and back down. Now again, sit back, nice and tall, 
shoulders down and relaxed, and then squeeze up. That's it. And you'll find that there will loosen up your shoulders, which is really important. You think about it, you want to put your coat on during the day. If you're getting dressed, the more relaxed and the stronger our shoulders feel, the more comfortable it will be to do the normal things that we do during the day. So remember, do four, so we do one more, and then down and relax. Now, I just want you to sit back this time, nice and relaxed, okay? As you sit back in the chair, I want you to think about lifting your leg up, so you raise your knee, and then back down. Now, I only want you to lift it as you can feel comfortable. I don't want you to take it any higher if it doesn't feel comfortable, but you can bring it up, hold for a second, and then back down. If you're able to and you feel that you can do that, hold it for a couple more seconds, and then back down and up. So all we're gonna do this time is raise that knee a little bit higher on each side. When you feel you need a recovery, take some recovery. If you're able to do it for a little bit longer, and the more that we do this every day, you'll find you'll be able to hold it higher for longer and relax. Now, not a really good exercise. Again, you're seeing now that there's so much that we can do when we're in the chair. So this time we're gonna reach out in front. You wanna be lifting from your knee and just pushing your foot out in front. And again, you can hold it for a second. Do it on each side alternatively. Again, as you start to feel stronger, hold it up for a couple of seconds and then back down. And you'll feel all the muscles working above the knee. Now these are the muscles that help us to get in and out of the chair, in and out of bed. So the stronger they are, the more we're able to do those things at a more comfortable level. So we want you to keep practicing these during the day. So up, again if you can, hold for a couple of seconds. And if not, straight up, straight down, and relax. Now how many times have we dropped the remote control, dropped our phone or dropped our newspaper, and we struggle down to reach it. So what we need to be doing during the day is practicing being able to reach down and come back up. But I want you to do this pretty slowly. I do want you to go down quickly and up quickly. So with control, go down, reach, and slowly back up. And we're down. Just hold for a second, keep your breathing nice and relaxed, and come up. Now remember, we're going to try and practice that on both sides. So if you think about it, if anything did drop or fall from your chair, you're more confident to get it. You're able to pick it up and get on with things. So guys, there's nothing wrong. Let's do that 10 times, five times on each side. If you need a longer recovery, just take it. And when you're finished, down, relax your breathing and rest. Okay, folks, this time, let's come forward a little bit on the chair. Again, you can hold to the side if you're able to put your hands on top of your thighs. So this time, pushing your toes into the floor we bring our heels up behind nice and high. And every time we bring up our heels, we're gonna squeeze the muscles in our lower legs and squeeze up and back down. So we just keep the heels up nice and high for a second and back down. Now, so we can see that from the side. If we're sat in front, we wanna bring the heels up as high as we can, keeping the, your shoulders nice and relaxed. Just relax your breathing. And as you're sat there, again, you can do that eight, maybe 10 times, bring your heels up, squeeze, and back down. And that will really strengthen the muscles at the back of the leg, which is really important as we get in and out of chair, or if we have to move up and down on stairs. Now this time, let's get the shoulders nice and relaxed. We wanna be able to reach up, bring the arms round, nice and slowly, and back down. Again, you're sat in the chair today. If you're in it for a long period of time, you tend to slouch down and feel quite tired. So every now and again, you're feeling like that. Just sit yourself up, just sit yourself upright. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed and just relax your shoulders up. Now, some people might be able to reach up as high as they can and back round. Any movement from your shoulders, however high that is, the more often that we do that, the more relaxed the shoulders will become, the stronger the muscles will become around the shoulders. And if we think about that, those movements where we bring our shoulders round, we're putting on our coat, putting on our jumper, being able to reach and to hold things will make it far stronger. So you can do that with one arm, you can reach up and back down. What's really important about this is that we move as much as we can during the day. What tends to happen, the longer we sit, the tighter that we become. The tighter we become, the more anxious and the more likely we are not to move. So let's remember, being able to move our shoulders, 
our arms, being able to march, push in our heels, all those movements count. Anything that you can do during the day to be able to move and to stay active is going to help you enormously. So let's keep moving. Let's do as much as we can during the day. Let's encourage other people to join in. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's keep active. But what's most important, let's stay connected. Let's stay positive And let's get through this together. Now everyone, tell the truth. How easy is it to get out of the chair? So what I want you to practice. Now to start with, we're going to hold on to the chair and we're going to stand up, but nice and slowly. So again, I want you to put your feet out in front. You're going to push through your heels, lean slightly forward and slowly stand up. Now when we're coming back down again, using your hands to support, I want you to feel confident in the movement. If you think about being able to get in and out of the chair with more comfort and more strength. Now I don't mind if you do that once or twice, but what we want you to do is to try it and do it more often during the day. So being able to stand up, sit down nice and slow with control. Now eventually, the more that we try that, being able to keep your hands on your thighs and they slowly stand and they slowly sit back down. But if you're not feeling confident with the movement, you can hold a stick, you can hold on to the wall or to someone else to support you. But what's important is that we get confident moving in and out of the chair. Don't be afraid to ask for help if it's required. Now remember when you're doing these exercises, if you need a little bit more recovery, please take it. We just want you to try the movements. The more that we do these movements every day, several times a day, you will grow in confidence and you will grow in strength and you will find your overall quality of life improve enormously. Okay, so now we're out of the chair. There's other movements that we can be doing. So use the chair for support. You can hold on to it as tight as you need to. Try and relax your hands a little bit. So facing forward, we want you to bring one foot behind and just squeeze back and then tap back down. Reach behind with your foot and back down. Now remember, you're only tapping down. Now some people, again, you reach your leg as long as you can, as long as you can control. If you feel you've only got a short movement, that is brilliant. Just a little bit of movement, the more often we do that, you will find that you're able to reach a little bit longer. So once you do five on one leg, we will switch over, again hands nice and relaxed, and we reach behind and then back in front. Remember, only go as far as you feel comfortable. Every day, we're going to try and move that a little bit more. But the important thing is that we're now getting out of the chair, feeling confident standing, holding on to something for support, and being able to move our legs behind. That will strengthen the muscles at the back of our legs, which is really important as we grow more confident in each of these exercises. Well done. Well done today. A lot of brilliant work. A lot of good exercises that we can be doing, even if we're at home and we're in a chair. Don't be afraid to join in. Family and friends, care workers, anybody that's coming into the home, let's encourage ourselves to become more active. If we're in the chair, simple movements, moving our knees, our elbows and our shoulders are going to improve how we feel. Importantly, it will lift our mood. What's really important, we get people, family, friends, people that come and visit us, let's get them to join in. Let's feel energetic, let's feel strong, and let's feel confident. Just because we're sat in the chair doesn't mean we can't be active. The message that we want you to take from today is that all movement is good. Choose the exercises that you feel comfortable with. Don't be afraid to try them, and let's give it a go. Let's stay safe, let's stay connected, and we'll get through this together.